Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The day has been filled with questions. Some had revealing answers. Sometimes the answers are given, but not understood fully at first. One of the answers perhaps fell on a ground that is not fertile yet, but it will grow like seeds that get watered with consciousness awareness. This channeling is mainly for those in the room. The ones who are listening and reading, perhaps, you can participate but really it's for those in the room. Occasionally we do this to honor those who have come and participated in many hours of questioning, of learning, of being and doing. You have no idea how spirit sees this. You think you've come to a meeting if you believe what is being taught and if you believe this message is from the source I say it is from I want you to hear this the intent of coming here of being here of working on yourself of asking the questions of saying what's going on is like a bright light in the wilderness the room is just filled with an entourage and some of you can feel it you know the rules, it's hands off. But can't you feel the applause, the cheering, the love? You have free choice, and free means we don't interfere. But dear ones, when you say, I want to do something, and it involves your higher self and spiritual purpose, you allow us to step in. That's the free choice. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about a, about a couple of principles that we have spoken of many times, but we keep having to change the scenario. So you hear it again. You'll hear it in a language that, that may be different from the last time. You have to ask yourself at some level, some point, what happened today? What happened yesterday? If someone comes to you and said, well, what did you learn? What would you say? If somebody comes to you and says, well, how will you act on what you learned? What would you say? What do you say to yourself? And there will be various reactions and various actionable items, as my partner says, that are then a confluence of learning from this meeting, from the one yesterday. And you leave differently. Some of you will simply assemble the information and move forward. There'll be nothing you do different whatsoever. And that's the kind of person who is literally assembling those things which they need to, to put together. Some of you have been putting together for years and you've come here and things are starting to snap in place. And you will leave with things to do. Things to try, as you will say. You're also different. But what I want to tell you is, and remind you, is that this is a different energy, a real different energy, than you have ever experienced before. Imagine a farmer who has farmed all his life he knows the seasons, he knows the rainfall, he knows the seeds to get. He knows how to do what he does. And the crops they grow, he knows how to pick them, he knows how to harvest. He knows what to do with them after, he knows where the market is. He's an expert. And then suddenly there's a weather change. And what happens is marvelous 
suddenly for a reason he cannot explain the dirt of the earth has become absolutely infused with nutrients and beauty it's like he sticks the seed in and he can hear it grow he uses a fraction of the water and he gets three to ten times the crop the crop is completely and totally resistant to disease and insects the harvest is easier than ever because the crop grows in a new way that invites being harvested he doesn't have to take them to the market the market comes to him and everything changes and here you sit farmers with the seeds and I want to tell you that the answers to so many of your questions are beyond a reality that you even expect you are still asking beautiful questions about how things work what to do how should you proceed without giving credibility to the new dirt that the seed is getting planted within you are proceeding as though it was always going to be the same and it isn't you've got to add the new energy factor to the answer to every question you ask there's been many questions today about so many of the processes that we speak of the new powers of speaking to yourselves of the affirming that is a new kind of crop dear ones you're planting the same seeds and you got ten times the growth it's just like the farmer is discovering you can't ask the old questions when some of the things are going to be automatic you can't proceed into the new energy by asking how many how often what will happen when because some of those things don't matter anymore because the very words that you say they fall on fertile ground they grow by themselves an energy literally that supports you is here and so you start to intellectualize what you expect and answers don't mean what you think they should because they are not linear and I want to give you an example just one or two so you know big question what's next cry and I have come to this a meeting of light workers and old souls and I've heard some channelings and I've heard wonderful news and good advice and processes and procedures and answers and I don't know what to do next I know what I may try but you know it's confusing I took as many notes as I could but I can't even decipher them took pictures of the screen but I really I don't know what order they should go in I leave this place I want to do it all crying I feel like I'm an old soul I believe what I heard to be real but I don't know what to do and the answer you would expect would be here's the list do this first and then this will happen and you'll get better at it and you'll practice a little and this will occur and then you'll you'll know this and that and that's not the answer that's an old answer the new answer goes like this the very seeds you're going to plant are intent to shift you don't have to remember anything because old soul this is a refresher course it's it's been in there all along you are wiser than you think you come from ancient wisdom old soul some of you even Lemurians some of you with with teachers from other places 
It's in there. It's all in there. And the answer I would give you is to go home and say out loud when you're alone, Dear Spirit, I am ready to make this shift for my life. And I want you to show me what is next. Give me an intuition of what to say that will change me into that which I have come for. And you will find these seeds of intent will fall on wonderful fertile ground. The things will literally, the metaphor, they will grow around you. And you don't have to do anything. But watch it. Things will start happening in your life because you gave intent to change. The healing that you came for. I know who's here. The healing that you came for. Don't ask how many times you have to say this or that or what's next. Or I want you to expect it's there. And then, and then when it comes, know what to say. More than thank you. You can say, okay, this worked. What else? There is a new energy here that is supporting the light workers and old souls like never before. Never before. And the intent of your consciousness is the, like the rainfall in the fertile ground. Am I getting through to those of you who still want to intellectualize every process? This is new. Yes, there has to be thought about it. Yes, you have to have planning as much as you would normally do. But literally, the, the item that will make the biggest difference in your life is intent and we say pure intent is meaning you've cognized it you believe it you say things out loud that you know are accurate and true and it's not just falling away you're planting the seeds that's what you're doing crying how will I know what to say you will know what to say old wise one you will don't use someone else's words. That's been said before. Speak to your higher self with personal words that are simple and loving and meaningful and credible. Mean it when you say it. It's your best friend. Don't make it flowery. Don't make it religious. It's your best friend. That's your soul. It's a different kind of communication. Because the energy is sitting here just ready to support you. There's a different light and dark balance on this planet. And that is so meaningful. That means light worker, as you stir your light, it's going to go places and do things it never did before. It'll go further than you ever thought it would. But this is for everyone. Everyone. Things are starting to change. The actual physics of the earth is starting to change. The magnetic grid is being fed by a new kind of heliosphere of the sun. Have you noticed any changes in the sun? You know you're moving into a different place in space as you go around the middle of the galaxy. You've never been there before. There are things coming that will change the heliosphere of the sun that go right into your magnetic grid that literally has been postured and moved so that consciousness will be able to sit in a different kind of a couch. That's all metaphoric? No, it isn't. That's physics. And the consciousness will then have an expansion because it can. Dear ones, we've expected you to be here and therefore things are starting to cooperate and you don't have to do it alone and you don't have to do it by yourself and then there's the second kind of question it's the question that reveals that you really are not getting 
the fact that everything around you is starting to shift. And the question goes like this. Crying, I love the teaching, I'm an old soul, and I really have accepted it all. I really get it. I'm going to change. I'm going to plant these seeds. I'm going to, to have health. I'm going to define mastery. I'm going to become wise. All of these things I'm going to do. In fact, I'm doing them right now. But that's just me. I'm an old soul. That's just me. And, I, and I'm now going to step into the world. And I'm going to try to interface with what I'm going to call Neanderthals. They're not like me. They didn't come to this, this group of, of, of lessons and, and things and channelings. They're not, they're not going to. What good does this do? What can I say to those around me who are such a low consciousness that they can't even recognize that they're low consciousness? What do I do? In other words, dear Cryon, I love what I can do for me, but it doesn't help me at work. <laughs> and I want to tell you something. You just haven't figured it out yet. You continue. You say, there was a time when you said, well, love will conquer all. All I have to do is love them, and they'll change. It's like saying that if somebody attacks you and, and, and there's a, a war and you don't show up and you just sit there and, and, and grow flowers, it's going to be fine. Well, it isn't. They're going to attack us and conquer us. That's what happens. That's what happens with the old energy and light. I know. That's what the questions are like. I feel these all the time in the consciousness of the room. I can feel them. The frustration is this. You think you've got to do it yourself. In an old energy, this is what you did. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Shamans, you know it. There was no appreciation. If you're in a group, a tribe, in an old energy, and you are the chief shaman, it doesn't matter if you've healed the, the elder's daughter. It doesn't matter. If something happens like an earthquake, they'll kill you. Because you brought it. You're always on edge. And some of you still are. Because you got the same feelings of the shaman. Waiting for the other shoe to drop. I want to tell you something you're just not considering. There has been a shift in what we will call strength. What is the strongest thing that you think is out there that has consciousness applied to it? And in an old energy, it was force. Force. You yell. You have drama. You threaten. You accuse. And your opponent cowers in the corner. So they're not going to be hurt. You know what that is? That's barbaric energy. You know what that is? That's as old as it gets. And that is changing. Let me redefine strength. There will come a time, and it is starting to occur already on the planet, where the strongest thing you have will be balance in situations that are unbalanced. And the strongest thing that you can bring to the table in front of others who may think that they know everything and you say they are low energy, the strongest thing you can bring to this table of darkness is light and wisdom and clear thinking. And I will tell you that no matter how low the energy is there, they will see it and they're going to feel it. And you will be the strong one. 
In other words, this energy is going to support a new kind of strength, light. Are you going to presuppose that you're going to leave here and lose? Because that's what the question is about, isn't it? You are then going to affirm you've been conquered before you start. <laughs> It's time for a shift, isn't it? It's time for a shift in thinking, in perception. The reality of the planet is starting to move off the peg of sameness. You've got a dark army that all wants to do is hurt people, throw fear into your life, make you so afraid you'll give up. And no amount of that darkness is ever going to conquer the light that you have, old soul. None of it. And the response will eventually be the strongest thing the earth has, and that is common sense and light. That's where it's going. You're three years into the shift. Three years. And I have light workers that are coming saying, cry on. When's it going to end? <laughs> I'm saying, when are you going to start? <laughs> Three years. Oh, impatient one. I'll tell you why you're impatient. Because you waited a long time for this. Those in this room, listen, you waited a long time for this. And it's here. And you failed so many times to get over the hurdle of the darkness that exists on this planet and suddenly it starts to move the ancients are correct you pass the marker the precession of the equinoxes centered itself up and you were still here you think it's a, perhaps a synchronistic accident that the procession of the equinoxes is 12 years after you were supposed to destroy yourselves in the year 2000. What a coinky dinky, <laughs> as my partner would say. You got 12 years after the point you were supposed to destroy yourselves with World War III. That's what your prophecies told you. 12 is beautiful. If you know what we've said before about the twelves, that's the elegant of quantum math. And they'll, they'll figure it out eventually. Everything in the universe is twelves. If you haven't seen that yet, not tens. There's an elegance there. When you finally do base twelve math and you realize that that number called pi is an even number, you'll know you've made it. <laughs> it's not supposed to be an irrational number. Not for what it is. Think about what pi really represents. It's a master computation. And it's actually quite simple. Not irrational at all. The irrationality is what you've done with it. That is all changing. Here you are more than 12 years after you were going to destroy yourself in a new energy. The precession of the equinoxes then is here. You are firmly here. You're not just barely here. You're 12 years here. And now it begins. There is so much that has gone into this in compassion and love. We told you what the Pleiadians have done. We've told you about the nodes and the nulls. We've told you that you have fast track systems in place. That's the new fertile ground. That's what's going on. You have got so much help. So I want you to start reframing your questions to be smarter about what truly is happening and start feeling who you are, accepting the help not going by yourself anymore. Understanding at this point in time, you go home, shut yourself in a closet, and we're all there. You can't get rid of us. You give intent to start changing, and you've got a, a, an entourage. 
of those who want to help wherever you walk, whatever you say, whatever you think, because you ask. Because you ask. That's different. Light is winning. It is going to take years for you to agree with me. Because it does it slowly. Everything is up in the air. Everything right now. Have you noticed? How do you like your elections? Everything is up in the air. You've never had anything like this. The earth is, is ringing with issues. Stability. Yesterday is tomorrow's coup. Everything is changing. And there are still those who sit around and go, I don't see it. <laughs> because they are in denial, perhaps, or those who simply want the old energy to remain and remain and remain, because they did a really good job when it was, when it was easy, when it was simple, and when it was old, or even dark. Old souls, I'll tell you, you are the light of the world. It's why we call you light workers. You are loved so much for this. And now I'll give you a little secret. We just called you impatient ones. Well, sometimes God is impatient too. We've given you all the equipment, all the tools. We've given you the ground for the seeds. We're watering them for you. Now I'm going to ask you again. I want you to go home and plant those seeds with your love and your intuition and your intent and stand back and let us help you. We're just a little impatient because it's time. And that's who you are. That's why you came. I want you to feel the support you have here. Never alone again, ever. Couldn't be clear. Couldn't be clear. And so it is. <laughs>